All right. Thanks for tuning in, everyone. This is Anthony Smoka, and check me out on anthonysmoke.com. Definitely subscribe to me here uh, on YouTube. So uh, today's tip comes to you from uh, Mark Reeder, who's a product portfolio director at Tableau, straight from the mothership. So I picked this tip up. I thought it was interesting. I wanted to see if I could reproduce it on some NBA data that I had. It's just a more efficient way to drill uh, into uh, data within Tableau. So this is standard drill functionality in Tableau. Um, if I were to, and I've got NBA teams here from the 2017-2018 season just looking at points scored. So Golden State scored the most points, which makes sense since they won the championship. Uh, then we got Houston, New Orleans Pelicans, so on and so forth. But let's say I wanted to drill into Golden State and see all the players, right? Um, I'd have to click on this plus. And not only, you're right, I lost track of Golden State, now Atlanta's in, you know, in the first position here. And I'm broadcasting live from Atlanta, so let's let's take a look at these Hawks, right? Dennis Schroeder, uh, no longer with the team, but you can see he scored the most amount of points. But I have to go and find uh, Golden State down here if I want to see uh, how the players did, right? Kevin Durant, Clay Thompson, Steph Curry. Um, so that's one issue. And then the drill, I can't click on a mark to, to drill back up. That does nothing. I have to go back to my to my plus. So I can't just simply just click on something, uh, a team here, a mark, and uh, drill in without opening up every other team. So we're going to improve upon this with some Tableau uh, trickery. Uh, we're going to use a worksheet action, three calculated fields, and a context filter. So how do we do that? So same information. We're going to drill on mark selection here, right? No, no, no functionality here, no drill here. So to get started, let's create a, uh, an action. We're going to add an action, a filter action. And our drill on uh, mark selection is our source sheet. And it's also going to be the target sheet, right? So I'm going to be filtering on the same sheet. Uh, let's do show all values for now. That'll change. We're going to run on selection. And let's add a filter here for team. All right. Scroll down here, find team. And OK, we should be good to go right there. And next step right here, we're going to uh, create a calculated field name drill level. So as you can see, when I select on something now, at least, I, I, you know, I, I show golden state. And, and I come back up. So we're, you know, we're not quite there yet because I'm not getting into my players yet. It's still showing team. So I need to create a calculated field that's going to break down into player when I uh, perform a selection, right? So let's, let's do that. I've already pre-created a, a calculated field. You would go here, create calculated field. And the name of that field is drill level. Uh, if the count of teams is one, we're using fixed LODs here. Um, if the count of teams is one, then show the player name. Uh, otherwise, show the team. And so you might think, well, the count of teams is always going to be 30 because there's, th there's 30 teams. When is it ever going to be one, right? So that's where we, we do some trickeration with our filters here. And I'll, I'll show you what I mean. So we created this drill level uh, calculated field, right? Let's drag that uh, drill level two uh, rows bring that in here so you can see we've got the team we got the uh, the drill level and then I've got this action filter right and if I click here right this still doesn't do much but I'm gonna change this to a uh, we're gonna add this uh, filter to the context and so what that does is it gives this filter precedence so when I select on something right well not nah, right I select on ATL <laughs> It, it does drill me down. You see how the drill level changed to players? That's because of uh, uh, the calculation that we put in there. If our fixed count of teams is one, then show the player. Well, it is one because we, we applied the, the context filter first. So we, we, we added that filter to the context. So only Atl Atlanta is the only team. So the count will be one. So this drill level will show me the player name, right? So I can go back up. So now I still have this problem where I'm showing the team and the drill level. You know, that's not, um, it's not very elegant, right? I want to be able to, to click on my mark. So, so that's, that's one thing we got uh, going for us here. I'm going to remove that here. And so the next thing we're going to do here, uh, I'm going to change the worksheet action. So we have to, I'm going to go back in here, go back in here to the actions here and, and edit this. I'm going to change this to leave the uh, leave the filter uh, upon clearing the selection. 
and say OK. So the next thing we have to do is we have to create a calculated field, right? That's going to give us an indication if uh, one team is selected. And so that's that's fairly simple to do. Even if you wanted to do this, um, if, you, if you highlighted this piece right here, fixed, uh, um, sorry, the LOD, fixed LOD, uh, distinct count of team equal one, you could drag that over here and then rename it if, if you wanted to. And so, but what I did, right, we, we called this one team. I just dragged that into here, named it one team. Now I've got a calculation. Basically, this just tells me uh, it's a true or false, right? It's going to evaluate the true or false. It's just going to tell me if one team is in play or not, right? And so once I do that, I'm going to have to create another uh, calculated field, and I'm calling it points or null. And if we look in here, right, when multiple teams are in play, show the points, otherwise show null. So if not one team, I know it's kind of counterintuitive. If So one team is going to show a true or false. So if not one team, meaning multiple teams are in play, uh, this field is going to show points. Otherwise, it's going to show nothing. So all right, so how does this all come together? If I take uh, points or null, drag it up here, uh, we're going to change this to a measure and uh, make it sum. So as you can see, I'm going to put uh, point it in the second uh, um, position here, uh, and we're going to get rid of. So we're going to get rid of our team here. And as you can see, I've got two different kind of levels here. I've got uh, points, and I got sum of points or null. If I and my I only have my drill level showing the team. So when I drill into uh, oops my points are null. Oh, sorry, you have to do this. You have to make sure the right level of detail is here. So that didn't work because I needed to put team here on the detail. So this needs team on the detail in order to evaluate. So once I do that, bam, um, you'll see my sum of points are null goes to null, and there's nothing to select here. And But my drill level now lets me come back up, right? But my drill level won't let me come back down. So my sum of points are null, lets me drill down. My points lets me uh, come back up. And so now, as you can see, all we have to do is we're going to go and we're going to make this a, a dual axis. So let's go over here, dual axis. And let's make these a, uh, whoop, not hide card. <laughs> we want to go on the all. And let's make this a bar, right? And I can probably get rid of these if I don't want that uh, that loud uh, color here. Let's uh, drag that off. Anyway, let's get to blue. I'm going to hide the uh, show header, right? So we've got that. And if we do a little bit of, well, let's see if it works now. If I click Golden State Warriors, boom. Now I drill down into, you know, I can see Kevin Durant, Clay, Steph. I can see everyone here, right? And if I click anyone, I go back up. If I want to see uh, my Los Angeles Lakers, right, boom, Julius Randle, who was traded, Kyle Kuzma, right, Contavious uh, Caldwell Pope out of UGA, uh, Brooke Lopez, so on and so forth, right? So I've got this nice little functionality now where I can drill by selecting on the marks. And of course, you can, uh, you can clean this up if you go into um, uh, right click, go into formatting. You know, I'm all about... Uh, you know, going in here and uh, cleaning up, turn off the grid lines, and you know you can do all these these other things. Uh, turn that off. Uh, turn the levels down, right? None. Um, but you but you get the point, right? You can make it look a little cleaner here. If I wanted to, I could do uh, in entire view. Um, but as you can see, this is a very handy tip here for, for your dashboards. I can now just drill into any team uh, that, that I want. So again, back to Golden State. There we go. So this has been Anthony Smoke. Hope you uh, enjoyed this tip. Get out there and do some great things with your data. Thanks for watching, everyone.